stuff peppers were your favorite. Mm -hmm. Eggplant is very Turkish and very simple. At least my version of it is very simple. And börek mm -hmm. is also very Turkish. We have to do it. And then I got you, remember, I don't know if you are using it, but the pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. So we can do something in the pressure cooker, like 10 minute dish, 15 minute dish. Okay, so... So we can start with the stuffed peppers. Measure quarter cup of rice. A quarter cup. And then keep it there. A quarter cup of rice? Yeah. And keep it there. I was born in Kayseri, Turkey. It is a small town where my father was stationed. But we moved, when I was three and a half years old, to a bigger town, which is the capital of Turkey, called Ankara. And that's pretty much where I was raised. I was born in New Haven, Connecticut, and I was raised, I like to say, in Gross Point, Michigan. Do you agree with that, Mom? Yes, you have been raised <laughs> in several cities, but I would say Gross Point. Gross Point, because that's where I spent my formative years. Like, I, I went junior high and high school in Gross Point. In Turkish food, most of the time, this is the starting step. Oil, onions. Now, if you don't like onions, you can always miss it. Okay. But you brown the onions a little bit. I distinctly remember my mom um, working full time, so basically she would cook on the weekends. She would cook like vegetable stews and um, a lot of vegetable and meat. And then, um, yeah, I just remember you cooking on the weekends and then we would be eating that throughout the week. So, cano what kind of oil did you use, Mom? I use canola for this. Canola, olive, or mix it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe a little more. Okay. <laughs> this measuring doesn't suit me, you know? Yeah. So, so it's just about much I'm more like one, one third. Wake up. Is okay. it ready? Maybe no, a little not bit brown. brown. It's a more yellow than brown. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I felt taken care of because I was cooked for, you know, yeah. that you knew what ingredients were going into my meals. And also, I think when you cook, you feel like you have a real family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even if it is two of you, it's still a family. See how nice it smells? Mm -hmm. There's a process, there's a tradition, there is... I, I, I think, otherwise it's not the food as much as you know, that kind of uh, message, I don't know, that feeling. And it smells so good. It now, we add the rice. What kind of rice is this, Mom? Any kind we do. And then, we add water, okay? You just put like a cup of water? Yes. You know what I remember? I have these distinct memories of being in the kitchen while you're cooking and me being in that little cubby area yes. doing my homework. Not in the breakfast room, but in that cubby area where it would lead to the dining room. Uh -huh. And I would be on the floor like with a textbook just like yes, hanging I out remember. doing my homework and she would cook. That's what I remember. As that's cooking, mm -hmm. we can get the peppers ready. Just copy me. Okay. Take this out. And then remove that. Okay. Well, cooking for me used to not mean anything, and now it means carrying on my culture. It's really important for me to not forget my culture. When I was growing up, I didn't really care too much, or like the food that I ate was sort of embarrassing because I didn't see other people eating that kind of food. It didn't look that good to me, but it was also very like, it was not what I was eating at home. And um, and now the older I get, well, I'm totally not embarrassed by it. In fact, I love it, you know, and that's something that I want to learn more about and retain it. I don't want it to be um, diluted, you know. I don't know if I'm going to marry someone Turkish, you know. I don't know what my potential husband's background is going to be. So I want to make sure that my kids at least experience the food. And we will save these because we can use it for the next dish. Okay. Look 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of seeds in here. Get rid of it. So anything special about these bell peppers, Mom, that I need to be on the Look, lookout for? smaller and thinner the skin, it's better. Because, you know, you might think outside all those big, huge ones are the best. No. We have to make sure now we lower the heat because otherwise the rice will burn, you know? Uh, what was it on before? High? High. And now I really, really lowered it so it's not going to burn. In a few minutes, when the water is gone, we will just turn it off. Okay. We want it, if in fact, cool down. Okay. We are going to take the tomatoes. Uh -huh. We want to make six halves because we want to cover six peppers. Okay. Just cut them by half. Oh, so cut three basically in half. Cut three, right. Should I cut the little ends off? Yes. Let me see. No. Yeah. Cut it like that. And then cut it like this. Okay. So just three of them. Okay. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. And then cut. Oops. Cut. Perfect. Now, we are going to use the skin for the, for covering, but we want to use the inside for the stuffing. So, what I'm going to do is take this and then just take off the inside but I'm not mm. going to make it so thin that nothing is left up you know yeah here this is ready okay, I get it keep doing it be careful with your hand because even I usually scrape my fingers in the scary dangerous yeah you can't do it with a knife and then chop 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 perfect but it takes more work we always use salt pepper and Dill wheat is the proper uh, spice, uh, proper herb for this. But if you want to use something else, you can. I'll just do it the way I'm used to. I'm not a huge fan of dill wheat. But I'm going to put it this side. Okay. If you don't like it, I don't know. Maybe you can use mint. I have no sense of like, oh, let me cook a nice healthy meal for but myself. Are by yourself. You know, when you are by yourself, that's common. And nowadays, you know, the ready-made foods are so good, so it's not unusual. But it yeah. feels, there's something very dissatisfying. It feels very empty. Mm -hmm. It feels mm -hmm. like, you're, for me, food is like, I'm hungry, let me just feed myself. But there, I have no, I don't really enjoy my food. Because you don't share it, I think. That's the thing. Well, that's why I wanted to learn how to cook is because I really want to um, make the food that I eat meaningful to myself.